Well, it's time now for Perspective, and today's guest is tackling one of the main obstacles to physical rehabilitation in France, access. With her startup EasyGain, Zineb Agumi has found a way to streamline the cumbersome machines used in retraining patients, creating a device that's smarter, cheaper, and accessible to everyone. Now, her efforts have been recognized by this year's Cartier Women's Initiative, which rewards female entrepreneurs around the world. EasyGain won in the Europe division, picking up a $100,000 U.S. prize. Now, thank you very much for joining us on the program today, Ms. Agumi. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, congratulations on the thank prize. You. And um, also, you know, tell us more about your company and exactly what, what your startup does. Yeah, so EasyGain has developed a connected device for rehabilitation of walking abilities. Uh, it's a treadmill that can lift the patient from the wheelchair to the standing position. Uh, safely without risk of fall. This is the main uh, thing about our device. And there are lots of sensors in the device that can measure the working performance and send reviews to the doctors and physiotherapists remotely. Now, um, the machine in question, is it called Emma? E Emma? Yes, it's Emma. Emma. Um, now, it's, it's been sort of described as an affordable, space-saving, uh, connected gate rehabilitation device. Um, basically, it helps people to walk yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, how many patients, uh, how many people in France are, aren't able to do that, aren't able to walk, essentially? So, in France, there are more than 4 million people who are suffering from walking issues due to aging, to development of chronic diseases and neurodegenerative diseases or accidents. And we address all these people. So uh, with our device we, that we have started to sell in last year, we have reached uh, more than 3,000 patients and we are willing to do more. It's perfect. And this is the machine in question, of course, being shown there on our screens. Yes, with elderly using it and enjoying working because there are people who haven't worked for f very many months or years and we have uh, managed to make them work. Now, I just wanted to ask, how did you actually come up with an idea to create this machine? Because it seems like such a simple idea, and it's unbelievable that we're in 2019, and you know we haven't got a machine like this uh, yeah. in people's homes. I mean, where did you come up with it? So four years ago, I met, I met a doctor who is Dr. Thierry Albert, works in uh, Paris, and he was thinking about a machine that can help the, his patients work at home. And in the same time, I had my grandmother, who was suffering from many falls, uh, she was really suffering, so I, I wanted to do something that can help these people work without risk of fall and with the uh, uh, remote uh, control by doctors. And uh, now, have you met any of the patients uh, that the machine has actually helped? Yeah, I met many patients and I think this is the, 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 the main uh, motivation of this project. So when we meet these patients, they are just happy. Some of them cry because they, they haven't worked for, for, for a long time. So it motivates me and it's important to, to stay in touch with the patients. Now, um, you're a female entrepreneur that you know, started up this business. Yeah. Have you, as, as a woman you know, starting her own business, um, encountered sort of any specific challenges to sort of women, business women? Yeah, so when, when I started the company, I, I didn't think about being a woman. I just started the company like everybody that can, can do it. But uh, a few years ago, so, um, last year, I was pregnant. So I felt that being a woman is different. And uh, I, I just want to tell people who are here today that being a woman and being pregnant is not a problem. So you can do things and you can work. Uh, and this is the main message I can, I can convey. And now you've won this um, Cartier Women's Initiative competition, which is a, a major entrepreneurship uh, competition open to women. Apparently there were 3,000 entries this yeah. year and you were one of the seven winners. Um, now, now that you've won this, you know, it's probably presented a lot of opportunities. What's next for your company? So winning this prize was, a really, was an amazing moment. Uh, after a few months of coaching, of uh, selection, we spent uh, a week in San Francisco with uh, the other entrepreneurs. Uh, we won uh, $100K that will help us develop our company and our uh, R&D. And what's next is uh, developing the home market because the device that you see in the, in the screen is a device that is uh, adapted to structures, to retirement homes, uh, rehabilitation centers. But we want to, to bring to the market this, this machine that can help people work at home. And this is the next step. Sineva Gumi, thank you very much for joining us today on Perspective and on thank France you. 24. It was great to have you. Thank you.